This is breaking news from Channel 7 Eyewitness News. New York City will be under a curfew that begins in three seconds. Some of the most prominent streets, anything but quiet tonight, with more peaceful protests, but also more looting throughout Manhattan. The curfew going into effect six seconds ago and lasting till five in the morning. But now, lessons apparently learned. The mayor says the curfew tomorrow night will begin at eight. And good evening, everyone, at 11 o'clock. I'm Bill Ritter. And I'm Sandra Bookman in tonight for Shot A. News Cop to 7 right now up and busy tonight as police have been trying to stop the looting and to stop some fires, put out fires that have been set. So far, though, they are facing a tough night ahead of them. We begin our coverage tonight with Eyewitness News reporter Josh Eininger. He's live in Road Cam 7. Josh, where are you and what's it like? Well, uh, Bill, it's hard to describe what we've been seeing tonight. I'm just going to show you right now a camera on the roof of Road Cam 7. This is Madison Avenue. You're looking at Madison, Madison and 62nd Street. And there are huge groups of people who are on the street right now, Madison Avenue and 62nd Street. Basically, they've been shopping, window shopping, and then they've been going up to the windows and breaking through them. I'm going to show you right now, zoom in to one particularly uh, egregious example that we watched a second ago. Sorry, the truck is moving here. This is a, an Hermes store, Hermes men's store at 62nd and Madison. And what's been happening all night, we could show you video actually of that store being broken into right now. All night we've watched these groups of people going from store to store. Many of them were already boarded up. Uh, they pulled the boards off and then broke through the glass. Some were not. Uh, they were going through. We saw people looting out of multiple stores, probably at least six or seven stores on this very exclusive row of retail. There are dozens, if not hundreds, of police officers here. What we've been seeing is basically a cat and mouse game all night. The police officers have been here with a huge show of, of, of force, but they can't stop people because they don't know that they've necessarily been looting. And so they're waiting for somebody to do something police move on to the next block and then someone does something and so that's what we've been seeing basically all night hundreds of people and it cannot be said more forcefully these are not protesters what's happening here has nothing to do with the ongoing protest movement across the country that has swept the country let's show you video of something really quite remarkable that happened that we watched earlier at washington square park the chief of department of the nypd the highest ranking officer took a knee with protest leaders after they helped uh, along with the police defuse a situation in which some people were throwing bottles at cops the protest leaders and the police joined forces and got those people to stop the cops back down and de-escalated it was a very emotional scene when perhaps you could say the highest ranking police officer in the country took a knee with those protesters hugged emotionally with them here's what he had to say to me just after that I feel fine. I feel fine. That's right. Because that's, that's the first moment that we get this together, that us and everything that these cops have given their blood for, and the communities that we serve and they all love, can go back together and get those groups out of here from California, from all over this country, who are being paid to take this movement, which is a good movement, and turn it into violence against the men and women who love the communities. Yeah. Get them out of here, throw them out of your protests, protest peacefully. Why would anyone break into a store in your neighborhood, places that employ the people in this neighborhood? No reason for it. It has to end. Let New York show the country how this is done. And back live, this is how it's being done tonight. Police officers in helmets who are now populating lots of this stretch of Madison Avenue. And as we keep moving up Madison, uh, things uh, now that we are in this curfew, things do seem to have slowed down, quieted down just at least a little bit. There are fewer people on the street, although here's a big group of police right now monitoring a store that, uh, that was looted and they are here in this location. Uh, I'll try to get you to, sorry, the truck is moving and I'm moving the camera. Uh, this is what we're seeing, pockets of police. And then the next block, you'll see pockets of people who are here uh, doing uh, wrong. So we will, of course, continue to monitor this now that the curfew is in effect. We'll see if things take a turn. And for now, uh, that is what we have for you on a very, very active and very disturbing scene on the Upper East Side tonight.